What a sweet story. The return of the sixth annual Rockabilly Q in Park Circle is finally here with us this morning. Simon, to tell us all about this exciting car bike show. It's uh, so much more than that, too. So, Simon, tell me all about this event that you guys have going on. Sure. Today. It's a, like you said, it's a sixth year for it. It's a classic cars, vintage bikes, music. We got contests, uh, pin up contests, tattoo contests. We have over 30 bands from around the country playing. It's free, it's a benefit for Valiant Animal Rescue. It's fun for all ages. Uh, you can come out and take selfies with the classic cars, vintage bikes, enter contests, eat and drink. Uh, dance, whatever you want to do, it's all there for you for the day. And it's supposed to be a beautiful day out too. Yeah, so, I, it's, so it sounds like you've got a little bit of everything for everyone. Yep, if you're sure. into the vintage cars and bikes, you can check that out. Yep. Uh, music, you said 30 bands from across the country. Yeah, yeah. that's impressive. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about some of the bands that are going to be out there. So there's uh, so bands are cut, like I said, they, they drive all over from all over, but uh, it's a mixture of like rock and roll with Americana and a little bit of old school country, kind of honky tonk, because rockabilly music is basically 1950s rock and roll. So the event is a tribute to mid-century Americana. Very and it happens cool. at Park Circle, of course, which is a little, and they have that great historic main street. And we literally have classic cars parked up and down it, which is really a sight to see. That's fantastic. So, yeah. so uh, on top of the music, you've got the cars, you've got the the, the bikes. Um, talk to me about the, the fundraising effort that you guys are doing. Sure. So we raise money for Valiant Animal Rescue, who uh, deal with a lot of severe animal rescue cases. They also go into disaster relief for animals that are in, like, you know, areas that have been hit by extreme weather and other situations. Uh, and this is the second year we've raised money for them, and they're fantastic. And they'll be out there all day uh, holding, uh, doing raffles to raise money. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's definitely a great, obviously a great organization to support. So, so obviously yeah. those folks will want to hunt them down since yeah. the event is free. Yeah, people yeah. can come out; they yeah, don't have to sure. pay. Yeah. Uh, so they'll want to hunt down those valiant animal yeah. rescue folks. Uh, so tell me a little bit about oh, the time. When is this all? So happening? it starts at 11 a.m. Uh, the, the classic car and bike show and block party goes till 6 p.m. and then we have music still into the night. Wow. So it's an all-day event, really. You can choose when you want to come. The, the full schedule and everything's on rockabillyq.com. Uh, and we're also on Facebook, of course. That's fantastic. Yeah. And obviously, the sixth year, what's yep. new and, uh, and improved this year? So we've expanded the car and bike section so we can get more cars and bikes in. We have more bands than previously. We have a couple new contests. Uh, and we have a lot more uh, sort of vendor merchant markets gotten bigger. So every year we try to add to it. So yeah, so it's definitely, it's a lot of fun, lots of stuff to do. It's a Excellent. whole day of fun. And I know you mentioned it already, but to give the folks at home the website so they yeah. can find out more. Rockabillyq.com. Excellent. Thank you so much Thank for being so with us Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. <laughs> and we'll be right back.